Hello friends, today let's look at the problem of finding out the number of unique binary search trees. So the problem statement is given and how many structurally unique BSTs could be formed that store values from 1 to n. So if n is equal to 2, the values would be uh, values that would be used are 1 comma 2 and all possible BSTs with these values are 1, 2, comma 2 and 1. So the output that should be returned by our subroutine should be 2 because 2 BSTs could be formed. Now if n is equal to 3, the values that will be used are 1, comma 2, comma 3 and the all possible BSTs that could be formed are these 5 subtrees. So our subroutine should return output as 5. Note that all of these 5 subtrees, uh, all of these 5 trees are binary search trees. Okay, now let's look at the approach to solve this problem. So let's, uh, let's take an example where n is equal to 6. So the values that will be used are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so to compute uh, total number of BSTs possible, we have to compute a uh, total number of BSTs by keeping 1 as root and all the remaining values in the right subtree plus by keeping 2 as root and uh, values 3, 4, 5, 6 in the right subtree and 1 in the left subtree plus 3 as root and 4, 5, 6 in the right subtree 1 comma 2 in the left subtree and so on till 6 as root and all the values remaining values in the left subtree 1 2 3 4 5 okay basically total number of BSTs with n is equal to 6 could be written as number of BSTs with root as 1 plus number of BSTs with root as 2 plus and so on until number of BSTs till root as 6 so let's try and uh, compute the right hand side of this equation. So for example, I'll try to compute number of BSTs with root as 3. So uh, the computation would look something like this. The root is 3 and 4, 5, 6 are in the right subtree. 1, 2 are in the left subtree. So for this uh, right subtree, uh, there are uh, let's try to compute total number of unique BSTs possible for this combination so uh, what I can do is I can keep 4 as root and 5 and 6 to the right 4 as root and 5 and 6 are still to the right but with but with different combination then 5 as root 4 and 6 and finally 6 as root 6 as root and 4 and 5 to the left 4 and 5 to the left ok now for this subtree uh, there are actually two subtrees possible 1 2 and then 2 as root 1 to the left notice that any of these 5 subtrees could be combined with any of these two subtrees to form a unique BST with root as 3 with root as 3 so total number of BSTs with root as 3 is not nothing but 2 into 5 because any any of these can be combined with any of this now these sub computations that we just did that is uh, for 4 5 6 and 1 2 is nothing but number of BSTs with different value of n that is n is equal to 3 and this is number of BSTs with n is equal to 2. So the sub the computation that we just did can also be expressed as number of BSTs with root as 3 equal to number of BSTs with n is equal to 2 it comes from here and number of BSTs with n is equal to 3 here. By following very similar approach that we just used we can compute every term of this equation that is to compute number of BSTs with root as 1 root as 1 we have to compute number of BSTs for n is equal to 5 and number of BSTs for n is equal to 0 because there is nothing on the left 
and five values to the right and simply multiply them for let's say a uh, root as 2 that is number of BSTs with root as 2 we have to compute number of BSTs for n is equal to 4 that is for these four elements and number of BSTs with n is equal to 1 and again multiply them multiply them so in other words this whole equation that is number of BSTs with root as 1 plus number of BSTs with root as 2 can be rewritten as this equation number of BSTs with n is equal to 0 into number of BSTs with n is equal to 5 and so on till number of BSTs with n is equal to 5 into number of BSTs with n is equal to 6 so this term is for root 1 this is for root 2 and so on this is for root 6 notice that this is a recursive computation and for convergence of this computation we need to define the base cases so let's try to define the base cases so if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 for number to compute the number of BSTs possible we know that for n is equal to 0 the only one BST exists and that is null BST and for n is equal to 1 only one BST exists with unique node so we have our base cases that is if number of BSTs for n is equal to 0 or 1 then the value is 1 so this is 1 and this is also 1 notice that in this computation there is a lot of redundancy for each n we are computing twice so for 0 it's uh, the number of BSTs are computed twice for 5 it's, it's been computed twice we can avoid this redundancy by storing the res uh, intermediate results in an array so with these ideas now let's look at the code for this this compute possibilities subroutine computes the number total number of BSTs possible it takes n as its argument and also takes solutions uh, uses solutions to store the intermediate results this statement takes care if the uh, invalid input is there that is if n is less than 0 we say that uh, 0 BSTs are possible this is for base case if n is equal to 1 or is it, if it is 0 then we say that only 1 BST is possible now let's look at this for loop which implements the recursive algorithm so for each root solutions of i stores the all possible BSTs in its left subtree let me write it down again 1 2 3 4 5 6 so for let's say i is equal to 1 will be here and solutions of i will store solutions of 1 that is for n is equal to 1 and solutions of n minus 1 minus i will be handling the n is equal to 4 case that is will store all the all possible BSTs in its right subtree this should be right and if we first check if the solution has already been computed if it is not that is if, is, if it is equal to minus 1 then we make a call a recursive call with a reduced n that is i is equal to 0 and here we again make a rec recursive call and finally once the left and right uh, BSTs are computed we multiply them and add them to the total and uh, at the end we return the total number of possibilities